Hey all, thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Patrick. You're watching Moto Ramblings. Today, I am riding Big Red, my 2016 Honda Goldwing. It is the very beginning of September. I am on the road called Bailey's Branch Road. Actually, I think it's Meadows Town Road right now. When we swap over into uh, Buncombe County, it's going to become Bailey's Branch Road, but it's the same road. Anyway, I wanted to kind of talk to you all about superstition. Do you have any superstitions? Anything that you have to do before, during, or after a ride? Is there things that you just do every single time no matter what I'm not normally superstitious like uh oh if I don't you know get on the bike the right way I'm gonna have a problem normally things like that don't get to me but I can see how you know for some people it can and I can understand the why now one of the superstitions I've heard of is like people won't watch motorcycle crash videos I figure it's like a bad omen or something. Um, I see a thumbprint on that lens. Hope that's not a problem. One of the other superstitions I see is um, people won't ride their motorcycle a week before they go on a long trip. And that's kind of the one I wanted to talk to you about a little. Look at this brand new pavement, which kind of scares me because Brand new pavement usually means there's going to be a lot of gravel in the road. There's a little bit right there. They put down the new pavement, they put down a bunch of gravel on the side, and then the people can't stay on the road. They kick it up, and boom, next thing you know, it's all over the road. And here it is. But, new pavement. Okay, that, back to the subject at hand. As Bodine would say, focus, Patrick, focus. What was I focused on? Oh, yeah, superstition. Normally, I'm not that guy that worries too much about it. But this past July, I'm sorry, this past June, I was supposed to go up to the Pennsylvania area moto meetup. And four days before that trip, before I was scheduled to leave my house, I already had my reservations and everything made. I was all set to go. But four days before I was supposed to leave, I went for a ride on Big Yellow. Now, as it turned out, it was the last ride I ever took on Big Road, Big Yellow. So, I have a trip coming up. I've talked about it in a couple of videos previous to this one. And I didn't want to ride this bike between now and when I leave, which is a week away. I was going to ride the V-Strom. Well, I got on the V-Strom and it won't run. It died on, oh, excuse me. The V-Strom died on me shortly after I took it out for a ride and it would not stay running. So I got to get it to the shop. So I was going to meet my buddy Tim today. So, okay, I'm taking the Goldwing. I really didn't want to because I've got the big trip coming up and I thought, you know, I shouldn't take it. I don't want to tempt fate. Which is kind of like being superstitious. So, fortunately, I've been out on Big Red today and no problems. Everything's going good. Knock on wood when I say that. And it's good. It's kind of a good shakedown, too. I um, want to make sure everything's good. Everything's right before I leave. And... Other than, you know, I need the new tires and I'm waiting on my highway pigs to come get delivered. Other than that, it's just packing at this point. And so I'm going to make the appointment, get the tires put on and all that good stuff. Hopefully the foot pegs will be in. I'll put them on. I might take one more ride with the foot pegs on, make sure they're in the right spot. And then I'm going to have to kind of back off on the bike for a little bit because I don't want to push it just before I'm supposed to go on a trip. Wow, that was the last second. There he 
very strange. So anyway, I was just curious. Do you all have superstitions? Do you have certain things that you have to do certain ways every time you go for a ride? Or, you know, when you're going on a long trip, you've got a certain routine that you have to follow. You're going on a very short trip. Is it a different routine? Is it the same routine? Uh, what is it that keeps your mind in the right place when you're about to get out on the bike? Which, as we all know, can be a dangerous thing for so many reasons. You know, for me, the biggest reason that it was dangerous was because I was a dumbass. Look at the gravel in this road. Um, I ran into a guy today, hey Curtis, that he and his wife were on a 2024 road glide and a deer jumped out in front of them and they hit it. They're okay, all is good other than the bike, but um, previous video, look back at it here. I'll put a link up above. Talked about them, what happened, and Harley Davidson. But there are so many things that can go wrong that you can't prepare for. You just have to be ready for. I hopefully am fully prepared for my trip. And hopefully, all is good. Oh, it does bring me one quick little story to go along with, you know, being prepared, having the bike ready. Yesterday, Mitchell and I went to the bike night down in Galactic Pizza in uh, West Asheville. And on the way home, he was following me, and I felt something hit the bottom of my right leg, about where my seat is. I'm like, what in the world was that? And Mitchell saw it, and he said, something bouncing down the road. I was like, well, whatever it was just hit me. And he said, it looked like a frame slider. I'm like, what? So he stopped, because he saw where this thing rolled. I did a U-turn and went back. It was the bar end of my right handlebar. Over time, without me noticing, it had come loose and it just disconnected from the handlebar and fell on the road at that moment. Fortunately, Mitchell saw where it went. We were able to pick it up. He had his little toolkit with him and he screwed the thing back into my handlebar for me. But if I'd been out on a major highway heading towards South Dakota and that happened, one, could have done damage to another vehicle two could have done more damage to me and my vehicle and three i might never have found it as it turns out it bounced up and hit me and it did barely barely scuff the paint on a panel right below my seat on the right side um, and the bar end itself has a bunch of scratches on it almost looks like i dropped the bike uh, so there is that so in a way I guess it's a good thing I was riding the bike because I found things that were wrong that I probably wouldn't have even noticed. You know, when I'm going to do my bike check, my little bike inspection, unless it was the screw for the bar end was actually hanging out, I don't think I would have noticed it. So, little things like that. But anyway, I was just curious what you guys do before, during, and after your trips. All these thoughts on my mind because I got the big trip coming up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And before you go, check out this video up here. It's kind of cool. Maybe. <laughs> Alright all, thanks so much for watching. I hope everyone can stay well, stay safe. Most of all, stay happy y'all. Motor Ramblings up. See ya!